Dance with Poor Attitude. How y'all doing today? We are gonna do a big one here. This is a 30 inch by 30 inch. And I am gonna do that huge flower that everyone seems to be doing that they love so much. Um, it is not my design. I will give credit um, at, underneath here of her name. I do not re remember it right at the moment. She does beautiful swipe flowers on a black background here. I've already laid my black. That took quite a while. Um, don't skimp on it. Apparently I didn't make enough. Now I've made more and it's all ready to go. I am going to be using large swipe pieces today. Just pieces of plastic that I have to use. The colors that I'm going to be using today are going to be the Extra Sheen 24 karat gold, Apple Barrel King Gold, I'm going to use Apple Barrel Golden Yellow, Essentials Cadium Orange, Apple Barrel Cranberry, Golden's Iridescent Pearl, and obviously our background is going to be black today. Um, this is my first attempt at this, so hopefully it will work out. Um, okay. Let's try this, see what happens. My mix for my swipe today is one part paint, two parts Floetrol. Some of it has a little more than two parts, um, almost the three parts because it just wasn't cooperating with me this morning. We wanted to run like warm honey. I didn't put a whole lot of water in this. Last one that I did, it seemed like the paint was breaking up a little bit, so I decided not to do that this time. Okay, let's see how if I can get this done. I am going to start with the King's Gold. And I'm gonna lay a half a circle. And we're gonna see what happens here. Okay, so that wasn't the greatest of circles. Medium orange. Needs a little more water in it, not quite flowing like honey. Get that in there real quick. Go cranberry. Cranberry and yellow make some gorgeous colors together. Right. Now let's lay some iridescent down here. Actually, let's go ahead and lay the 24 karat gold down here. Okay. 
and I am going to use my iridescent color to swipe with. All right, so we'll see how that comes out. I do want to lay. sweat color I'm just going to do a little bit at a time and see how that works okay let's go Paper towel ready to wipe it all off. Apparently I have that, but use it for something else. Okay. Wipe that off. And let's do another swipe here. composition very much. It was looking kind of like this quite a bit. I wanted it to be yellower. 
So I decided to go ahead and do a yellow ring around here. I'm swiping with the yellow. I'm using my little one here to kind of go in between so you can still see underneath. But it seems to be working out much better. I like the composition better as far as the colors go. So that is working out much better for me. What y'all think? The only thing different that I did is I came back in with the yellow. That was it, just to make it a little more sunflowery looking. I'm liking that much better, much, much better. Okay, let's continue on with the yellow here. Yep, the orange, I believe, was probably a mistake. I should not have put orange in there. I'm liking this much better. Another problem I was having, I was laying this in the black a little bit too close. It was pulling black down from the center. So I'm being a little more careful here, making sure that it only hits the yellow. I might have hit a little black right there, darn it. There we go. And as you can see, I'm still leaving the undercoat there, so you can still see it. All right, I left a little bit too much undercoat there. There we go. using the smaller one of the ones I had cut. So I want to leave some of that undercoat from the other one. Okay, I am liking that much better. Much better. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? That one orange streak right here in the middle looks just a little weird to me. So I'm going to put just a little bit right there and swipe that. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's much better. Although I didn't hit all of it. I don't know if that's just not flat enough there. There we go. All right, I am liking that composition much better. Now I didn't do my flower completely round and I did it for a reason because I'm going to make this look a little bit more as if you're looking on from an angle. But I like this composition. Now that we have that yellow in there a little bit better. Okay guys, we're gonna let this dry and come back in and see what else needs touched up. Hi everyone, this is Nancy with Poor Attitude and Other Arts. This is the sunflower that we were working on the other day. It is now dried and we're gonna go into part two. So I just basically have some black. I have Amsterdam, um, their standard series of their burnt umber, and some cadmium yellow. Okay, so those are the only colors that I'm going to use right now. All right, so I am going to tamp on some black here. All I'm gonna do, just so I can get a roundabout next to the yellow right here. So let me uh, amp this out a little bit, make sure I have the color and consistency that I want. It doesn't look like it's completely black. It looks like there's a little bit of uh, 
gray in there. And I'm just going to go around and clean up this edge just a little bit here. Is all I'm doing. smaller circle right here with my pencil okay and that's the line I'm going to be following for the smaller part that's going to be in the brown so I am now that I have my edge I'm just going to tamp this out just to give it a little bit of a texture look to it even though I have no texture in here. dry for a few minutes and then we'll go back in and we'll do some more pouncing. Okay, so I decided to throw in some yellow okra on this too. This is Amsterdam and I have not mixed anything with it. I'm just going straight in with that. And all I'm doing, I'm using the exact same brush. And that line that we just made between the brown and the black, I'm following that line. Let me see in here.
as you can see I'm adding just a little bit of brown I don't want it quite as bright again. I don't want to put very much on my brush. I want it very light. Little things just like that. If you'd like to add more, there apparently is probably 20 to 30 different kinds of sunflowers. So all the middles are different, it seems like. Um, and I went with this one. I thought it was a just a pretty cool basic sunflower middle and whatnot. Alrighty, thank you very much for watching. You can go to pourattitude.net and see some of my other work. If there's anything that you like and would like to learn how to do it, just let me know and we'll see about doing one of those. Okay, thank you. Bye guys. So I changed my mind a little bit on how I wanted to do this and my camera gave out while I was doing it. So just to show you, I just put the same color in one of my little needle nose bottles and went through and just randomly put them everywhere and that's all I did that was different. I just randomly put them everywhere, let them dry that way, and I like that much better. So uh, I will see you next time. Thanks, guys. If you'd like to see my work, you can go to pourattitude.net. If there's anything there you'd like to see me uh, redo and we can try that out, we can do that. Thanks. Bye.